man, you come straight out of a cone. Wait till you hear this this latest wild statement he made. Man. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! I forgot about this nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Straight Out of the Comic Book. I am your host, Will Farrow, and I got the fellas in here with me today, man. Darren, Big Baby Brand, Young Deuces of the Geek Set Podcast, Brody the Joker, and of course, Lack the Destroyer. And if you are seeing the name for Dion Lack, that is the theme of today's episode. We are talking Guardians of the Galaxy, Volume 3. The movie that made every grown man cry like a bitch in the theaters, even if they won't admit it. <laughs> you was tearing the fuck up in that dark theater. Woo. Woo. Yeah, that, yeah, that, that uh, hey, that 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 rocket cry, that that uh, uh, Quill Peter Quill cry. It, it's a lot of out loud cries. I was like, oh man, it got me. Oh, <laughs> no. It got yo. This was this was an emotional, fun yeah. roller coaster ride. We talking, person. we talking Guardians. Yeah, yeah. we talking Guardians. Hey man, listen, bro. Come on, that is the best trilogy. Come on, I didn't have to hype him for it. I didn't have to tell him that the MCU has done, bro. Think about it, bro. To take that's to not take, blasphemous, though. That's hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. To take those characters, right? That yeah. the normal comic book or normal superhero person that don't know these niggas, don't bro. No, right. Everybody, everybody want to cap now. Preach. There was plenty of niggas when the Guardian Guardians of the Galaxy came out. They was like, who was that? Yep. And so, so we all knew who Captain America was before the movie dropped. We all know who Spider Man was. We knew who Wolverine, Logan. We knew all these niggas, but niggas, real niggas. I'm a real nigga, bro. I I did the comic books, but I didn't know who them niggas was for real. For real. Come on. I may, nah, saw, true. I may I may have saw them in a couple of cartoons. True. You the, feel what I'm the, saying? The most you knew was maybe the raccoon and Star Lord. No, that that's about good, it. And, that, that's and that's just because you that's saw them. Yeah, and that's, that's just because you saw them. You yep. did not know their name or anything like that. You had just maybe saw them once in the comic book, just like the exactly. point. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And so for, for us to be introduced to these niggas from the first movie to that, even to that weird ass second movie. The, the movie, the second movie was weird as shit, but mm -hmm. we still fuck with it because we still had a emotional tie to it. To bring that shit all the way to here. That's tough, bro. Yeah, and, they, and it had so much going against them, bro. Like niggas, you know, yeah, yeah, they didn't know. Like Doctor Strange, when Doctor Strange came out, they didn't know if that was going to pop because he's not a popular Marvel person. Right. He is now. Yeah, right. but real niggas only know the core, core people. Your yeah, Iron Man's, your Captain Americas, your your your, your Hulk's. You know what Spider -Man. I'm saying? Spider Man's. That's yeah. that's the core. And then you got your X Men. Like people yeah. don't even know the in depth of X Men. They only yeah. know Cyclops, Wolverine, Jean. Niggas don't even Jubilee don't, don't even niggas don't even know Jubilee unless you watch the cartoon because she ain't in none of the movies. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know I'm what I'm saying? Right. So no, she is, she is, she's in first class. I mean, uh, not first class, days of future past. Yeah, she is, she is, she is. Yeah, she, like, I thought she, she was in the, the next no lines. I thought it was apocalypse. No, no, uh, it was one of them. It was the one that took place in the 80s. The one that took place in the 80s. Yeah, yes. it's, it's after Days of Future Past. Yeah. It's either Apocalypse or Dark Phoenix because okay, it's so the one where they recast yeah. Cyclops and he was a kid. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I, I don't disagree with them that being the best trilogy out oh, yeah. of the entire series and stuff. You can give it to Captain add, America. You can give it to Captain America. Add, nah! Captain America. The first one was shaky. A lot of the first I, I, one. I'm just I'm just now learning that a lot of people don't fuck with the first one because I fuck with the first one. So I like, like it. It's yeah. just it's it's very basic. It's not bad. It's not great. What it's happened right was is that shit should have came out first. Yeah. Instead of us yes. giving these Iron Mans mm. all these other shit and then try to run us back. See, the problem was they fucked us up doing this whole shit out of order. Yeah, they did. Yeah. They did. Yeah. Like I will say though, for Captain America, <laughs> like it's one of those movies. Like I, I'm sure like. War veterans and like old heads really enjoyed that, you know what I mean? Because yeah. it's like it's a it's a period piece essentially. But like, but it's like I really I was like I didn't fuck with that joint. I was like maybe I just don't fuck with Captain America. Then when these niggas did when he caught up in time, it's Winter Soldier, even Civil War. I was like, I ain't gonna fuck, I ain't gonna lie. He's not my favorite hero, but the films are fucking great, man. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. And I, I and I think that I think that first one was still trying to figure out that. Marvel superhero format of shooting that we see now. Like Captain America, the first was still kind of felt like how those Sam Raimi Spider Mans were, 20th Century Fox X Men. It still kind of had that oh, feel. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it still kind of had that feel, but it was still trying to 
show that like, hey, yeah, we can still, you know, give you some elements of the comic book and stuff. It went to a Winter mm-hmm. Soldier where it was like, oh, this is a Marvel movie. Right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then the third one, the third one, I don't truly count because you had an all star cast of characters. <laughs> Avengers, a, yeah, yeah, it was Civil War, War so you, yeah, you got to introduce yeah. Black Panther. You had a Civil War at an airport, and it's just like and Spider Man, and Spider Man. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, what's the Avengers two point five? I mean, right? low key, a low key Civil War gave you chills when you watched it as a fan. Hell yeah, yeah. 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 Like when oh, them niggas were running against each other, you was like, man, if either one of these niggas had Thor or Hope, this shit would be over. it would be over. <laughs> Bro, every everything that happened in Civil War, I I I I was the black nigga like, oh, oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> I, was like, yeah. I was just so geek. Oh yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, but man, no. but man, we are on the Guardians right now of yes. this episode, and so we, of course, we're gonna always get into our hot topic. The main thing about Guardians, <laughs> is the good, the bad, and the ugly of the movie. We're gonna jump into that, and then we're also gonna do uh, play a little game of. Who would you pick to do something when it comes to all the Guardians uh, of the Galaxy and stuff like that? So we're going to get into that later into the episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and we got like two that. hear me outs. Okay. Two hear me outs. Now, normally I'm the one doing the hear me outs. I got one, but today yeah. it is featuring Mr. Dion Lack. And mm-hmm. I think that that should definitely be the first thing that we uh, talk about. Okay. Because it right. ties in with the hot topic. <laughs> all right. Let me just, let me just cause cause I feel right now my only one of the possible is is is, is Darren. All right. Mm-hmm. So how do you feel about the Star Wars franchise? Me? Yeah. I don't fuck with Star Wars. Okay, here we go. Now we're cooking with grease. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you. I said these three movies. Oh, he talked, he listened. Go ahead. I said these three movies, the Guardians of the Galaxy. Is hands down better than the entire franchise of Star Wars. I felt like I'm gonna just be real, bro. I never, I never, I never got into the Star Wars shit, bro. Like Man, it, it never, it, bro. And I understand. Listen, listen, bro. Listen, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take my headphones off because Osama here too, man. And I feel like he got something to say. Let me take these headphones off because he feel like. Hold on, you got something you want to say, big dog? You want raised right? I want raised right. Hey, who's that scholar right there? What up, Osama been drinking, oh, man? Yeah, what's what's up, up, man? Oh no, y'all mute. Y'all mute. Listen, do you you'll mute, you'll mute. So hear me out. So the three, we these I get like Darren said, we, we have never seen these characters before, just like Star Wars. But these three movies explained a whole world, a whole world in three movies. Star Wars got 56 movies and 12 TV shows, and we still figure things out. It's too confusing. And it's like, 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 we, and we still ain't know what happened with Groot, but we still love them. Five characters we never found out, but in three movies, they explain so much and it can keep going on with Thanos' origin story. They got Thor they can fuck with. They got the, the Celestials. They got, it's, it's a, it's a whole space cowboy movie world that we can still rock with. Oh, y'all niggas put your Star Wars shit on. Huh? Wait a minute. I hate <laughs> Star Wars. It's too confusing. Star they got Wars? these new names and the 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 Waka Maka the <laughs> the, the Waka Maka world and the I'm like, only I got Google Google and like what does this mean? The only real nigga we recognize is Yoda. Darth Vader. <laughs> yeah, and the only reason we recognize him because that's Mufasa. Bro, <laughs> you, don't know who you don't know who this is. Samuel Everybody knows who this is. You don't know who Jabba the Hutt is. I, I do. I know because people used to call fans. Come on, that. bro. I do know that. I, I do know did. That. I did. Prince bro, Blake. Samuel L. Jackson got the only purple lightsaber in the whole Ooh. universe. Oh, that's it. That's it. The Prince girl, <laughs> she was the one who had the braids like this. Princess Leia. I don't yeah. know that bitch name. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, I will, hey, I listen, will say this. There are times in life where I really tried to like. Try Star Wars. Like, well, remember when the pandemic first happened? We didn't have nothing to do. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. tried Star Wars, couldn't right. do it. I tried Lords right. of the Ring, couldn't do it. Like, it's just yeah. certain shit that don't just move me. Yeah, like, y'all, can, y'all can put your toys up. Put your damn toys <laughs> up. <laughs> and and just imagine if Guardians had twelve movies. This world gonna be incredible. It's and they can each have individual movies. So Star you Wars is trying to figure. They, they figured out. They keep making movies to, to fix loopholes. So you said Guardians is more impactful, or they did more than Star Wars did. Ooh. If it was a rating, 
if it was like from these 12 movies versus Guardians, which one has a higher rating as far as like people enjoying them? Like, oh, Guardians that's, that's is, a great is, way to put that. It's that's flawless. Like Star Wars okay, so is like, it's like, right, man, y'all heard it's enough. the same movie again. I heard enough. I heard enough, bro. You One, you need to stop. There will never, and I will say never, ever in life be a Guardians of the Galaxy convention. There is Star Wars convention. There are Star Wars. There are, there, the, bro. It came out in the 70s. It was groundbreaking. Bro, a lot of white people, bro. That's true. There will never, Guardians will never a match can I, can Star I Wars this, in can life. I say this, can I say this? Ever. Tell me. Notes, bro. Tell me a fighting scene that was better than that was in Guardians in three in any of the Star Wars. What? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before we do that, before we do that, so <laughs> let's make it. Let's 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 make. We got hold on because we got to make this a little more even. So for the Star Wars fans, Deuces and Brody, which trilogy are you going to have debate against Guardians trilogy? Is it the original? Is it the prequel? Or is it the recent ones? So here's the thing. I get it what you're saying, and we can have this debate of a trilogy, but that's not what Dion said. Well, no, no, because no, to Dion's point, where he first started was it was better than the movies. Now, even to what you're saying, yes, the the lure of what it was, three movies can't beat 30 years of content, phantom fiction, people writing things. Like, you can't beat that. So that's why I'm like, you from his original statement of keeping it movie based, let's keep it there. Because, like you said, to your point, it's never going to get that big. Right. right. And it so, had a ride before Star Wars. <laughs> and Guardians of the Galaxy got a ride, which I think is way better than the Star that's Wars. And, it came, and, and they just came out like six years ago. And they got a ride at the same time as Star Wars. They said, okay, we got speed. No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. <laughs> Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy may got a ride, but. For years, there have been Star Wars characters walk, walking around Disney and all that shit. Yeah. Before Guardians was born. Yes, of course. So that's why I say keep it to the movies in this yeah. statement. Keep it to the movies. I'm, I'm passing it off to my bro, Brody. I've, I, I, I've said my points. This nigga take yeah, I took some notes because there's so much that y'all saying, and I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so that's what I wrote down. But you are just completely misguided. I think uh, underheld as a child, uh, neglected, because I cannot understand how you can say that the greatest it's I can't consider Star Wars even movies like I don't see a, I, it's just it's a something else outside of movies. It's just so cold. Now, Guardians is great because they were able to do that, but they wouldn't have been able to do that had Star Wars not done it. Obviously, the original. Hold on, hold on. LeBron James. Hey, 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 hey hold I, on, gave hold on, time, hold on. I gave you time to fart out of your mouth. Now, let me talk. OK, so Guardians, they had all the time right now to do this. Star Wars, the original trilogy is the best trilogy. However, if we're looking at special effects and all that, nigga, they were they were leading the game at that time. The reason y'all's movies have that type of art is because of Lucasfilm, because of industrial lighting. All of that because the shit they did was so cold, it changed the game for just for special effects as you even see them. Yeah, we, yeah. we, we can just do scripts. We fuck hey, the film. I can listen and to and it. Just it's better than Star Wars. Ewoks, the Ewoks changed film too. Man, that was the first time you've seen something like that. The Ewoks. Talk to him, Osama. Talk, talk to him. him. Talk hey, to him. Hey, hey, you think that Rocket Raccoon? Come on, over over Wicked. <laughs> who's the face? Know, who's the face of Star Wars? Who's the face of Star Wars? Y'all don't have an identity no more. Who's the face of Star Wars? Well, hold on. First of all, the, the Skywalker saga is exactly that. It's the story of Anakin Skywalker. The shit's too big to say who's it focused on. It's not about one nigga. It's about mad niggas. It's about a galaxy. A long time ago, where? in a, It didn't say at motherfucking uh, Cheryl's house. Nigga, it said a long time ago in a galaxy far away. You talk about the war that's going on. Then you break it down to like where planet they on. Then you break it down to the people, and then you start the movie right there. Shit. So, D, so D, I, 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 I can, I can, I can come on here and say, yes, I may not watch it or whatever, whatever, but I do respect it. Appreciate now, that. I do, I do respect and, it. Now, there's some things I know. Some trilogy, like I said, Lord of the Rings. I never, I never got into it. I, I did a couple of Harry Potter's, but like all nine, no. <laughs> My last point, Dion. My last point, because you're talking about if we talk about the original trilogies, the original trilogies, right? How many shows 
have we seen parodied, parodied those original trilogies? I can guarantee you nobody is going to parody Guardians of the Galaxy. One, Nigga, two, Guardians three, is a parody. That shit is a parody in itself. You know, they just decided to take it seriously. That shit is a fucking parody. Nigga, how, how is your fucking, how's your villain, your final boss is like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm a planet. I, I don't care what come you on, say. Man. Guardians will never come up with nothing harder than may the force be with you. Never. Yeah. And I will say this uh, to your point, Dion, that you originally started with. S Guardians did a great job focusing on a group in space and where they went and what they did. Star Wars, however, if you compare it to yeah. Marvel, Star Wars said it as if you had the Eternals, Thor's world, and everything he deal with, and the Guardians all within these films and how they connect with one another. That's what Star Wars did. Because I even to your point, like you said, Dion, I still do not know what's going on, really. I don't know where we be at. I don't know who's winning, but I still be interested because where the characters are, how they develop them. Hey, 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 they tell you where they are at the beginning. The opening crawl tells you exactly where we are. If you confuse, that's your neglect negligence. <laughs> that's what I just said. Calm down, that's brody. That's what fact, I just said. The fact that I don't I'm know, like, man. what Star Wars do? Guardians, huh? yeah. Guardians didn't have us like this. It, it, it brought us together. Exactly. So, so here, here, here's the thing. Star Wars had a, a 40 year head start. Guardians is nine years old. You understand that? Uh, we have been in the debate. Comics are older than Star Wars. This is the Bill Russell book. versus fucking LeBron James right now. He's like, the, oh, he the, rings. the Guardians had a head start. The Guardians the comic books are older than Star Wars. No, they're not. Yes, they are. What are you talking about? I'm talking about the movies. Hey, Siri, when did the first Guardians of the Galaxy comic book come out? Yesterday. It said the movie, so I'm going to have to go in. Exactly, nigga. No, come on, man. Of course, of course, Star Wars had a head start, man. But if, if, if we, 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 can, we can take out the special effects. If I just listen to the movie, the stories are better. The stories are more clear. Oh, it's so you know what's crazy? The comics books came uh, actually uh, premiered January 1969. Star Wars came out in 1970. Guardians that's interesting because the year that seems Star Wars that, that would mean that it came out after the oh but but go ahead Dion you were saying something about some bullshit hey man every supposed to be giving Guardians <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's, so D Dion went blasphemy that's not my nigga Rocket because my nigga Rocket is a black man I'm done all right oh, all right so that was our, no, that was our, let me that, let me let me know this tell me a Star Wars scene that was harder than that fight scene. Oh my God! When then the fight scene? Darth Maul, when Darth Maul pulled his double lightsaber out for the Bruh. first time, yo, Bruh. and I'm sorry, that Anakin no, fight no, on the no, on the lava planet that was fire. When was Darth fire. Vader was killing all the rebel guards in Rogue One, when he pulled his lightsaber out and said, "Nah, nigga." Yeah, when that man said, "Anakin, don't do it, Anakin, don't do it, don't do it," I'm t I told you, don't do it. I told your ass. I told your ass. And now you on fire with no legs. That was hard. I'll as give you a scene from every single film in Star Wars that smashes that <laughs> corridor scene in Guardians of the Galaxy Three, which is the best scene in all the trilogy. That corridor, but other than that, my name, like every, one shot, you. one shot, and they all had their their perks and their they showed their strengths. Man, of course, if you have the Force, that's an easy win. No, don't try, don't try to take nah, what we got. Don't nah, don't do, don't, do then, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Of that course, easy win, nigga. Yeah, like, of course, I, I got a big director. <laughs> of course, if you got a big budget. Of course, if you got like, bro, like you yeah, lost. Hold on, Dion, Dion, how they do? Dion, how they do the force again? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, they got they got the force. Cool, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You doing your your dancing hands and everything. All right, but what about the movie? <laughs> what about the the this nigga over here crying? He said, "But what about um, the goddamn fucking dancing hands?" <laughs> what about what about the? See, you reminded me you you because you're chopping and screwing the music. You're disrespecting the music of Star Wars, even in your little, your, your little act out. You're not thinking about what John Williams did to all those movies, man. Oh, come on, anytime you hear, bum 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 bum, come on, man. How about this? What this? 
Yeah, that's all I'm gonna say, man. Yeah, bro. Yeah, that's another nigga song. It don't matter. It don't matter though. I can put. I can put. Hey, I'm not gonna lie. That's what you think about Baby Groot when he was dancing and volume. Yeah, bro. That that's what I'm saying. I can put the Lil Uzi Vert song in one of the Star Wars lightsabers. See, I could put Just Wanna Rock. Ah, 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 and nigga, that shit would be. I'm telling you, it hey, 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 mute this nigga, yo. Nah. Mute this nigga. I'm sorry, because yeah, again, bro, it, bro, it. That, you that, that, off the edge, come back, bro. Yeah, because that, that even brings us into our main topic, which is us talking about the movie. <laughs> and that is one of probably the best things about it, the way you can't really debate it, is the music. The music made all three of those, hey, and hey, it showed something. That, hey, man, Guardians just saved Marvel last this whole year. Yeah. You know what? I mean, they, they are really good at putting together playlists. You know what I'm saying? Some some yeah. people are good DJs and some people are good artists. Star yeah. Wars are artists. You know, Guardians of the Galaxy, they're good DJs. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. You're not, you're not finna disrespect that. No, 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 no. Because no. somebody on uh, uh, Fantastic Frankie said this very well. The music in there showed everyone that Earth's best thing is music and how it can tie everyone in together. Because you watched every character grow and see hey, I, which songs attached to them. No, 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 no. So don't you go yo, calling them no, just no DJ. Them <laughs> dudes will fire. Just because you got some bum, 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 that's cool. That's no, great. No, they, the, who do you think? At the cantina on Tantooine, all niggas came from all over the galaxy to listen to one band because they were fire. They, they got to play the same movie. song over and over. <laughs> Come on, man. Who has a better story arc than Nebula? Anakin Skywalker. Duh. Like, bro, get out of here. You know what? We've been in the we had in this debate. All oh, y'all both air tight. Y'all give a good point that y'all get real close to the edge, like there and say, and ready to jump off. I'm like, come on. All right. So we jumping back into Guardians of the Galaxy. And we start with the good, the bad, and the ugly. So I want to know for y'all, and we're gonna start with Darren. What would you say were some of the best moments from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3? All right, so mm -hmm. boom. Thanks for yeah. Yeah, go inside, my nigga. <laughs> Thank you for I'm, joining us. So let me, let me get that was on my shit, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, see. Here we go. All right, let me connect. Best parts of the right, yeah. Best parts yeah, yeah. Of All right, I cool. love how they pick they piggyback off right off of the second one where they had uh Adam Warlock come right in. Cut out the the Can't hear you. No, no, we here. Yeah, yeah, we here. Your, your headphone. Can you hear us? There, is that me? Yeah, can you hear? We hear you. Can you hear us? Hello. Yo, 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 yo. Plug it in. Yours. Plug it in. Your headphones. Headphones. Can you hear? Can we hear you? Uh oh. Some old folks, nigga. Hold on. How did it work? This thing. Hold on. What is this? Even even Star Lord knows how to use his headphones. Wait, he hears us, but he ain't talking though. They can't hear you. Well, you mute. You uh, muted yourself. You're, muted you're, simply, you're simply muted right now. Okay. Oh. There, 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 we go. Go. there we go. <laughs> I'm so embarrassed. Anyway, um, <laughs> as a, I, now I go ahead and say this. I smoke a lot of weed. I be on TikTok. There's a couple, couple people that I follow. They give great reviews on Marvel. You know, a couple of niggas who really be into that shit like we are. Um, and I, I caught a lot of different opinions, but for me. I think the best moment was just like how hard they was fighting for Rocket, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Because overall, yeah. overall, we all know Rocket's an asshole. Like yeah. the way the way he come off on everybody, but for them to finally understood why he is the way he is. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, that, that that to me that was just the best part because like, and and I'm gonna say this: this is the first time they showed Drax really get busy. When that yeah. nigga was fight, when that nigga was fighting warlock, like low key yeah. Jack's always been like yeah. a little bitch. Like, man, you supposed to be this yeah. destroyer, nigga. You ain't never destroyed shit. Like everything <laughs> you everything you ever done, bro, you be getting your ass beat, bro. Like yeah. this nigga has won literally no battles in all That's the movies. Funny. Yeah. And this was yeah. the first That's time we though. see like he was like, and, and the way they made Warlock look, he should have been and the right. way they made Drax look in the past movies, Warlock should have killed him. Like yeah. yeah, but the way but the way Drex would hold his own, how they came together, that was the best part. Uh, also, when group came down on him, group came down on him and wrapped around him. I was like, oh yeah. shit! Yeah, he held you know on his nose. He said, <laughs> "Burned him." Yeah. Just how yeah. hard Nebula, just how hard Nebula is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like that overall thing was dope. Uh, you said good, bad, and ugly. No, no, we just on the good right now. We on the good. Okay, right good. Now. Oh yeah, yeah that's yeah. my good. That's my good. Just the whole overall, like I, I really fucks with uh, high, was it high revolutionary? Yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, high he evolutionary. Did a good ass job, yeah, dude. He I was him. like, damn. He, he like, he, nigga, how sinister are you for killing his friend? He said, ah, 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 you won. <laughs> All right, you won the screaming match. I'm like, nigga, god damn you. <laughs> Yo, bro. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> he was wild, <laughs> man. Yeah. It's like I hate you, man. Good ass <laughs> acting, dude. Hot tier villain, bro. Like I'm hey, talking about. My bro said, "My bro said it ain't no god, so I became one." Woo! And he was, bro. He was a hey, he his hey. his speech game, like his uh, his monologue game. He was killing it, dog. But just <laughs> even just how he knew, just like he knew that 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 dude when like uh, Quill walked in, he was just yeah. Hold on. Hold on, that nigga said he wasn't even, he it. Wasn't even worried. He's like, hold on, I gotta take this call. Yeah. <laughs> and held it for a hot minute. Held I was like, because that was at least three minutes of the film. And I was yeah. like, yo, he really got him on pause right now. He was he's so actually a pretty terrifying rocking. villain. Like to know, like to, to, to see when they, you know, his mask or his, his skin face was taken yeah. off, and then you saw that, like that's what's going on underneath. It's kind of the, the terror and like, you know, I mean, I'm sorry to bring it to Star Wars, but Darth Vader, but it gave me that type of feeling like the mask was off. You're like, yeah. oh shit. This nigga yeah. really went through some shit. He, it yeah. made him. It elevated his sinister shit like yeah. that. Not higher. But I, I knew it was. I knew it was a mask the whole time when they show Rocket when he spazzed. And yeah, when he spazzed. I said, I, said, I, said, mm -hmm. I said, oh, that's why he got he sealed up because Rocket. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that that's off. right. Yeah, hey, yo, and, showed, hey. and it was and it was it was the Wolverine noises, my nigga. It was yeah, the yeah. Ching, 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 ching. yeah. 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 And see, you for me, he, I got he, I got. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. What was funny is when he found it, like. I can't believe a fucking raccoon that I created is smarter than me. He's like, 89P13! 89P13! <laughs> how, how did you figure this out? How, how did you, your little small head, figure this out? I'm like, this nigga is sinister, bro. Hey. No, 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 no. That's when I realized he had a coke problem. That, oh, yeah, is, that, that, he, that he, was coke he, behavior he, he right there. Big was, crackhead energy. Though. Yeah, because when because his assistants that, came nah, behind bro. him trying to catch him and shit, I was like, oh, he out of there. He owes something. So, so high evolutionary. That's, that, that's the perfect name. Yep. <laughs> nah, bro. That's that was that's some that's some narcissistic demonic shit. The way he people who grab your head like that. Yeah. <laughs> like, I, 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 I don't know if y'all ever been in some abusive shit growing up, but you ever had like your father or some male figure just. He'll hit you. He just grab your head like nigga. If I could, you be like that's yeah. that's that's when your heart is like okay, yeah. ah, okay, I'm yeah. not there yet. I'm yeah. not there yet. Nah, and I yeah. I just seen that before. I was like that was ooh, because I cause, you but, know like go ahead. Yeah, I was like, but that's 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 what showed the true villainy of like it'd be different when it's someone that's just like you got a whole army behind you so you could do stuff. It's like nah, bro. Like if this dude capture you, he is going to yeah. mess you up. Hold on, bro. They could. You kill that nigga, bro. The lady had the gun to him. That nigga said, "Bitch, pow!" <laughs> oh, what is his power? What is his power? Is it his suit or is that him? No, no that's, that's him. him. That's, that's him. him. So te technically, he a machine in the comic book, and so that's oh. what threw me off about the face thing. I thought because of like him continuing to always work on stuff, he had did that, but then didn't want to lose his humanity, so he attached his face back. So I thought they was gonna show he was a robot at the end. I had oh. completely skipped that Rocket had messed his face up, and then when they took it off, I was like, "Oh wow, y'all really showed that." Yeah, yeah. man. Like his... Y'all don't, don't remember that scene where that nigga shot Lola? Oh no, I remember it. I remember that, nigga, it. that nigga Rocket turned around. That nigga said. It gave me that Bruce Lee vibes. Like I don't know if y'all, I fuck with Bruce Lee like that, but like in the uh, the Chinese connection when he rolled mm -hmm. up and he was like, "Why did you kill my master? Why? Yeah. Why? Like that's how I felt. Like you know, it, it, that. It reminded me of a uh, old boy. I don't know if y'all seen old boy. That's oh, a, that's yeah, a yeah. That, that that vibe. That old boy. He yeah. went on that vengeance after the day. His killed his whole family, you know what I'm saying? He was like, All yep. right, bet. But hey, yep. well, what we also got to talk about that was extremely good is how how their marketing faked us all out. The fact we that thought Rocket we, was gonna die. Well, not that not, not only that, the fact that we thought we thought Peter got packed out somehow and they was carrying him, and you know, oh, what I'm saying? We yeah, thought, we, and it was come to find out that he was only a drunk. He was <laughs> that was the was, intro, yeah. That, was, that the was the intro, yeah. And then the callback. I don't if you remember way back in Guardians One when they uh when they show Rocket in the lineup and they say his um um his partners in crime, he puts Lila. And yeah. and when you think about the tragedy of Rocket, knowing that at that moment he wasn't doing any any missions with Lila, 
right. and it's like, bro, like, like that's where you start like seeing the heartstrings. Like, damn, yeah. yo, my nigga mine, went through it and kept her with them the whole way. Like, that's, mine that went back crazy. to that scene from the original one when he was taught when he was drunk. And oh stuff. yeah, yeah. She called just, me. He called me a Ronin. She called me Furman. Yep, yeah. I didn't ask to be ripped apart and put back together Woo! over and over again. I was like, yeah. oh, bro. Yeah. Nobody, yeah. nobody's saying you a monster rocket. She called me a rodent. She called me a fermi. I was like, oh my god, rocket. Yeah. And you just see, you see why he was like, and he's he's always been the leader. That's why Thor thought he was the leader when Thor was on the ship. Yep. Yeah. 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 Wow. Thor was yeah. like, how about you run with me, big dog? Yeah. I, I want to see. I want to see a movie with 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 uh, Groot and. Uh, and rocket, how they met each other. I would love to see that. How I would love to see oh, that. Yeah. yeah. I would who love to see Who like didn't cry of, I love you guys? Oh, I did. So here's my thing. That was my hear me out right there. So there was a thing that went around in social that messed my head up. They was like, when group mm -hmm. says, I love you. That's us understanding them. We understand yeah. them now. We understand them. He ain't really speaking it. We just yeah. understand them. I was like, don't do that. Don't, yeah. no. don't do that. Because we went on the journey with him. So that, that they Nah, say, nah, like, son. Nah, son. Because if he would have said, I am group right there, every last one of us would interpret that as, we are family or something, yep. or I love y'all. Or something like that. So it's I'm glad they switched that shit up because that was a that that was important for us as fans yeah. to grow with. Yeah, yeah that, that's why I said it was so fire, bro. Because it's like it's literally like we went on, we we went on the journey with these niggas. So right. of course we understand them now. Because you got to remember at the beginning of this movie, uh, what's the name? She, uh, she uh, Gamora. She wasn't understanding. She like y'all don't y'all don't know what he's saying. But then by yes. the end, because she went, through, <laughs> she went through some shit with him, she now she understood him. At the end, it's like yo, yeah. like hey, man, and that's, that's my and that's my good right there. Was yeah. Gamora in this film? Like, I really like that they did. Like, cause one thing I, I like that they really catched up on was um tying it in for Nebula because Nebula used to always talk a lot of shit about her. Like, yo, this bitch ain't shit. <laughs> and then it was like, yo, in this third one, you see it, and it's just yeah. like, oh, I'm seeing what Nebula's talking about now. Hey, but yo, even, <laughs> yo, yo, did you see the part when? Uh, she was like, she's. It seemed like it's your type, and that nigga Quill looked at Nebula and was like, <laughs> "Hey, yeah, yeah. hey, that's how you know a nigga did some pussy." That nigga was low, bro. He did with this machine bitch for the past three years. <laughs> hey, never looked at her. That, somebody's made yeah. one copy. That nigga said. I mean, if if, if it's out there, like, Nebula's looking kind of thick today. Hey, Nebula, you got a new uh, computer? Hey, Nebula was thick. I ain't gonna lie. Nebula was thick as fuck in this movie. I'm piping Nebula down. What's up? Yo. Yo. <laughs> hey, but that, I'll yo, say my good Nebula has some ass on her. What? Will, Let what me give y'all my good real quick. Wait, I was yeah. gonna say, Will, what was that? What episode was that when we was talking about it? We was like, how long are you in space before you try your first? You know, piece of uh, space oh, yeah, your piece of space ass, yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's like because you know, Peter been in it, but it's like, how long when you in space before you make the decision of I'm gonna see what's out here? <laughs> one week, <laughs> go ahead, Brody. My bad, <laughs> yeah, now nah, you good. Um, uh, so my, my good man, I mean, it's, it's brief, but it was that it was that moment that gave me chills when uh, Rocket went back in and they said. Nigga, we going where you going? And they all was slowly marching back in to go save all the animals. You know, I was yeah, like, yeah. yo, no, it, was screaming, it was screaming Sonic the Hedgehog, but I still fucked with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, that, no, it was, it was dope. Yeah. That was dope. Hello, that nigga man. said we gotta save, we gotta save everyone. I all say, animals. yo, yeah. I'm a yeah. guardian, bro. I'm a fucking and they, guardian. And no one asked, no one argued. They just all said. All right, we, let's we do bro, it. We rocked the rockets going. I'm tired of running, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, yeah, and I yeah, appreciate the growth line. of Mantis. I appreciate the growth of Mantis. I appreciate yeah. that, bro. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Dion, yeah. what about you? What was your good? Let me let me say this one line. I already said mine in the beginning, but but when he had said, "I am Groot," and he was like, "Um," he had said. What you think we should touch him and make him feel good? He's like, oh no, no. <laughs> Wait, oh, like, yeah, Mantis, Mantis, why don't you just touch him, and make him feel good? He said, oh no, 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 not like. That. Not like that. Not like that. <laughs> yeah, the comedy on the comedy on like the comedy in Guardians of the Galaxy is always top tier because yeah. it's like it 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 bounces back and forth from like ridiculous right. to smart to ridiculous to smart and it's just it's a fun ass ride, man. Like it, ah, it is good. Dead. Ah. <laughs>
<laughs> it's the same thing. It's the same thing. <laughs> you using the same tone. Open the fucking door. Oh no! I went. Oh wait a minute. Hold on. That's also I. I uh, it's the good, but I'm also I want to ask y'all how y'all feel about Marvel's first f bomb being dropped by Peter. Loved it. Loved I it. I fuck with it. I, fuck I loved with it. it. He Open was fed the up. fucking door. He was and I was up. just like, yeah, yeah, it was so perfect. <laughs> yeah. I feel like they're doing that to like set the tone for like bringing Deadpool out. Like, nigga, we already gave y'all a fuck. It's like kind of the foreplay before yeah. this Deadpool yeah. three comes out. <laughs> I, I wonder who who gonna drop the first nigga though. Who is it gonna be? Blade or no? It Sam, gotta, gotta be it Samuel gotta be L. Sam. Jackson. It gotta be you Sam, cannot, bro. You cannot not let Samuel L. Jackson do it. Dog. You know who it can't be? It can't be uh, Captain America. Y'all are Avengers. <laughs> y'all acting like niggas. <laughs> Samuel should have said the first f bomb to be for real. I mean, when he technically <laughs> sort of said it, yeah. it just went off before we yeah. got to hear him finish it. Hey, no, no. bro, nah, bro, bro what the hell y'all doing? Y'all supposed to be Avengers. You acting like a bunch of niggas. <laughs> we all need to use our connections and give th that line from Brody to somebody to get to Samuel Jackson because he needs to say that line in Avengers. <laughs> I just, I just needed to be right after that. Cap come out of nowhere, and be like language. <laughs> That's why I left Earth. Fuck with y'all niggas had a fucked up the first time. There's so many points where he can Thor, say Thor's it. gonna be like, "What's up?" They're like, "Don't even say it." <laughs> What's up? I uh, beat it with my hammer. Or like, bro, the funniest moment would be if somebody if somebody tell him about Kane and he's like. Yeah, no, 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 no. You just missed what Darren said, though. Imagine if Thor catches you, like, show me the mightiest nigga so I can fight. <laughs> I'm treated with my hey, ass. Hey, bro, the whole time, yeah. the Wakanda is just like. <laughs> I need your strongest, mightiest nigga. This is why we don't let y'all in here. We knew it. <laughs> These niggas, they'll be in the middle of being like, oh, what? <laughs> hey, hey, I'm telling I'm telling you, after all that, Daredevil gonna fade the black light. This ain't got nothing to do with me. <laughs> <laughs> I see mm -hmm. no prejudice. I see no I don't see skin color. Hey, <laughs> Spider-Man gonna be like, well, he he is gonna be awkward as hell. Just well, <laughs> Dr. Dr. Grant gonna go jump back in the portal, like I'm out this big. <laughs> It's not, it's not, it's not my group. group. Mm -mm. <laughs> this nigga whole hey, transform hey, back to Bruce. Hey, group gonna be like, group gonna be like, I am. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, and then Rocky just awkward as hell. What's a nigga? <laughs> <laughs> nah, you know, Rocky, the real nigga. Rocky gonna be like, yeah, Black Lives Matter. And the girls gonna get bigger and bigger and shit. <laughs> All right, man. But oh, so now, oh yeah. So now let's try to get into. I don't want to do the bad and the ugly because if I'm just gonna be honest, I don't think there were a lot of bad moments or any kind of real ugly moments. Just, just one. A, just okay. I got one I just, little bit. I just wish they would have showed a little bit of actually what Rocket went through. And I feel like I, I feel like they didn't because they wanted our imagination to be that bad. Like it was that bad what they did to him, but. I think Nebula sold it. Like Thanos ain't even do me like that. Right. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. But also, too, when they showed his face, that's when I was like, y'all could have showed a glimpse of this from the holographic thing they was watching because it was a holographic. We yeah. could at least saw a little bit yeah. of something. So I agree his, with you. His gap was open. Yeah. 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 My, mine's would, uh, I would, um, I didn't want the switch with Adam Warlock to happen so fast. Uh, we, know, okay. we we know that he's part of he you know he joins the guardians and everything of that nature. I would have wanted to just see more of him being a threat just a little bit more before he turned. So that and was I thought own. them I thought them kids was his uh his flock that he got yeah. in the comic book. Yeah, I thought that's what that was gonna lead into, like him about to you know start becoming that. I didn't know right. he was gonna become a guardian. Uh, mm. Brody, do you have? <laughs> Uh, my bad. It's the uh, same thing. Adam Warlock. I think he was just underused, and it was it was just a, a they they. Could have, I mean, it's like you really didn't need him as far you know yeah. for the for the for the immediate plot points. You know, there was it, it really didn't make sense. The high evolutionary, his his whole arc. I could see the whole the story in there. Adam Warlock just seemed like a nigga that barged in and then changed his mind last minute. <laughs> like you know, he, there didn't seem much motivation for him to change his mind. You know. Yeah. 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 He was, yeah. oh, damn, yeah. he was a beast in the beginning. God damn, he was a beast. He was a shit. Yeah. And I like how yeah, they, they I don't they, know. 
got to his uh, character of like, you, it's your fault he out the cocoon. Like, this is why he's immature. Yeah, so, yeah. That's a little quick way. Yeah, I, well, I did like that they explained that because I remember hearing yeah. that in the uh, in like uh, watching like stuff online and stuff, and I was just like, okay, he gonna be like a baby larva type form. But I was glad, like how you said, they mentioned that. Um, I think I'll say one bad for me was I would have liked to see more of Sylvester Stallone's character and the Ravagers. Yeah, I like, thought we, I, I thought we wasn't we supposed to get something like I, that's what I thought. I could have yeah, that's, that's what I thought because I thought they were gonna go in and help them get the stuff and everything like that. Yeah. And because like uh Sylvester Stallone's character, like he's really powerful. That's why he's like the the one that reigns over them. So I thought we'd at least see him get into some kind of battle or some kind of thing. But they kind of just treated them like police a little bit. So I would have liked to have seen more of the Ravagers. Yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, I could have swore we were supposed, we supposed to get a show or something with the Ravengers because I remember they had that whole thing where they were showing like all the people who are now, you know, what I'm saying, and I could have swore that something was supposed to evolve from that. I wonder what happened with that shit. Yeah, now here's the thing that was kind of ugly to me that I didn't get, and we're gonna um, the like, Ravengers came, the Ravengers came on the ship like Doctor Strange. Y'all saw that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what that's yeah. what uh, the oh, dude, one, no, one of, he yeah, is. He's of, at, yeah, he's actually yeah. the uh, one of a uh, sorcerer supreme in one okay. of the worlds and yep. stuff like that. Yeah, because that nigga just got damn. I'm talking about just from all directions. <laughs> I'm like, oh, hey, hey. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that either, though. I, was I like, wasn't I, expecting it, and and I didn't know it in the moment. It wasn't until I watched, you know, what I'm saying, you know, you know how we do. We watch the movie, then we go and watch all our videos, and somebody explained. I said, "Oh, I was like, all right, that makes that makes sense." Yeah, I was like, I'm actually curious to know how did how did um, how did Nebula, Green Girl, what's her name, Gamora, Gamora, how did she get Gamora. back to space without without Quill? Huh? How did she get without Star Lord? Because she just remember she just walked off. I want to know how she got back to space without the. Oh no, Nebula! Nebula took her. Because remember, no, Nebula... she, she no, remember, ne... no, Nebula was there with them before Peter came back. Because remember, they got they were gone. So remember, Nebula, however, Nebula got to Earth. That's what that's uh she went with Gamora. Gamora went with Nebula. Mm -hmm. They left. That's why she dropped, knew where she, she was. Off and came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why she knew where she was at the whole time. And, no, and he was like, "Why didn't you tell game, me?" On Endgame, how did Gamora from Earth get back to space? I'm saying uh, Nebula. Nebula had her own ship. Oh, oh, the, yeah, yeah. Remember, they were her and Rocket were there. Bleak Star Lord mm -hmm. and them got bleak back oh, at yes, the war, yeah. the time of the war. So she could have gave like Gamora her ship and stuff like that, and Nebula could have just went with Rocket and all of them and Thor. Yeah, yeah. My, my nigga, my nigga, you training? <laughs> my, my my pee coming out like honey, so I gotta dilute it. <laughs> <laughs> he's stepping on his piss. I gotta add the step on it, bro. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Doctor said, "Hey, man, this shit too strong. You shouldn't have to spray after you piss, nigga." <laughs> why? Why you do honey like that, dog? Yeah. I wish you'd have found something else to compare it to. <laughs> Oh shit! So, I didn't spit them all. What the yeah! hell? Yeah! Jesus Christ, man! Uh, Jesus uh, Christ! Man. Uh, Come on, man! Sir. See, sir, this is with this Dion cheese. Like... <laughs> That's a perfect shot, nigga. Damn! Hey. <laughs> wow! Uh, got, so what? You, uh, you just got nutted on your face, Dion. <laughs> this nigga Dion said he gonna give the POVs. <laughs> Gave a straight money shot just now. Wow. This is straight out of comic book in 3D. If you got your 3D glasses on, <laughs> this is a Gallagher concert over here. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, man. So let, let's get into the last. Let's get into the uh, the last segment, man. Uh, which is like I said, who would you basically a who's would you choose game? And so, uh, from all of the guardians of the galaxy, like, uh, you know, from the first one, they started off at five. Now at the end, you know, they had nine members. So, you know, we have Drax, we have, uh, Kraglin, we have Star Lord, we have Gamora, we have Cosmo, we have Rocket, Groot, Nebula, and who am I forgetting? Adam? Yeah, Adam Warlock. No, Mantis. That, dog? Mantis. That, that was my Mantis. Mantis. Who, the dog, who, Who's the dog? Cosmo? Cosmo, Cosmo. Nah, not, Cosmo. Not, Cosmo. Not, yeah, that, dog, that dog's from Inhumans. Oh, right? oh, uh, no. Um, the, 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 the comet. Cosmo. Oh. No, no, the Cosmo's from the uh, Inhumans, right? Oh, okay. My bad. What was that? What, what was this dog's name? Hold on, it might be the same name. 
Was it maybe? <sighs> I think that's the same dog. Comet, no, Dion Comet is the one from Full House. That's, you're thinking of the. the, the oh no! Yeah, it's Cosmo. Yeah, it is Cosmo. I... <laughs> so well, wait, what's the dog what's from what? Oh, you're talking about the big one. Oh, that no, the big one's Lockjaw. I ain't yeah. talking about Lockjaw. And humans have another dog too. Wait, wait, never mind. It might be. I'm tripping. My bad. Are you talking? Are you talking about uh? Because other one? No, no, that's Superman's dog. Never mind. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Oh, no. So that was your ugly, uh, Brody. That was my ugly. Yeah, just, just I, I, I don't know. It was kind of, I, it, it, that was the only part that was sometimes a little cringy to me. I don't know if it was the voice, the, the sound of it. I don't know. I don't know what it was, but something was just like, like I think it was the whole. I tell me I'm a, I, like tell me the whole. Tell me I'm a, a good dog. Take it back, please. Yeah. Take it back. I think it could have been a lot funnier. That was too bestiality, re- like. Uh, <laughs> tell me I'm a good girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wish they'd have made her do like have like a story to actually do something. Yeah, it was too long of a running joke. Yeah, I, yeah. It was, I, it, I I I feel like that was their attempt to try to make another cute animal, like a cute yeah. thing that they could sell, and it didn't hit. It didn't. She hit. is a good dog. The payoff didn't work either. No, but what? No. But we also didn't talk about the Howard the Duck uh, cameo again. You that know? was not about to say. That was my ugly right yeah. there. That's your ugly. But yes. I'm so tired of thinking, man. I'm so I did not man. like how he looked, bro. Like that new design of Howard the Duck, that shit was creepy, bro. He that looked was I, very I like creepy. creepy Howard the Duck, man. Nah, bro. I was not digging that. The first one at the end credit scene, I was like, okay, I don't mind that one. But like this new one, like, no, bro. That dude looked creepy as hell. With that black suit on to him, like, uh-uh, nah. Nah, you look like you said straight from hell to make to make deals to take people's souls. Fuck that. No. And the Tutorial. Easter egg, the Easter egg for me was the ugly, not the first <laughs> one, the second one. What the fuck was that? What the uh? What was the, what was like, the him just second post credit scene again? Him eating cereal with his grandpa, and then oh. he was like, his oh, son yeah. could do it, yeah. and he was like, let me not get started on him. And I'm just like, who is it? They didn't say. They didn't say. They didn't say anything. It just it just him eating cereal and it well, just went this, off. I mean, this wrapped up Guardians. It didn't really. Do much wrap it up. For, the, for the MCU, like as far as the 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 story, it just wrapped up Guardians. So I think that's why they just capped it off like that. Because both of the scenes, I mean, you saw the new Guardians, but it was like we don't know if like if they're gonna be in the Avengers. Like we don't know how that's gonna go. We just this was literally just the we wrapping up these Guardians. And but it, but it also said that Star Lord will return. But who is Star Lord? Like I said, we don't know if it's gonna be because remember it could be Whoa. a that Whoa. that's the thing. Is you know what I'm saying? It's like who is Star Lord? Because is this Star Lord gonna come back or is it gonna be somebody else taking on the mantle? I ain't, like, I ain't that, think that, about that that's, part. That's too deep for me. Yeah, that's way too deep for me. <laughs> we're gonna go, we're gonna go, we're gonna jump into the final Peter Quill will, will, will return. If it, it's, I think it's gonna be a different Star Lord because they would have said Peter Quill will return. Nah, that's yeah, yeah. That that's to and that's why Star, I said yeah. it. That's that's that was my whole point of like who who is Star Lord. So it was like I don't know. Like I think it's just it, it was a good cap off. Well, I'm, I'm gonna I tell like you right it. now. I'm okay when with that sh- when that shit come on Disney Plus, I'm running that movie the fuck up. Oh, all three. Me? All three. I'm watching. Fr- I'm watching straight. I'm, talking I'm watching about, a little in between, and mm-hmm. then I'm getting the volume three, man. So, I, so, I'm, so I want to know from from y'all uh, out of the Guardians, which one would you party with? Brute. <laughs> he already. Which one? Three. Wait, which one? <laughs> Teenage group because he bought that shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I just get him. To, I can just get him to go grab a couple of hoes and shit. Bring them over, true, my nigga. True. <laughs> Uh, I ain't gonna hold you. I, I I I think I'm gonna go party with Peter, man. Look at here, Peter. Before before he got in love with Gamora, Peter was out here running yeah. through him. If I'm yeah. out in space, hey, let's go. I'm rolling with yeah. Peter, bro. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Peter did hit some orange booty. Yeah. <laughs> it left her in the ship the whole yeah, time. Left her in the ship. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Lack. What about you, man? I, I might have to agree with uh, Darren, man. I mean, Groot. Seem like he's a he's a he's a icebreaker, man. <laughs> no. Yo, who's your man right here? Oh, that's Groot. I am Groot. What did he say? He said, uh, "Can I get your number?" That's what he said. I'm just saying. <laughs> the greatest no, wingman ever. I'm gonna tell you where our Groot is perfect, bro. All these hoes are plant parents. 
So, <laughs> oh, you, had, you know what I'm saying? Bruh. I just, I just get my boy Groot today. I get this bitch a plant. Then get next thing you know, I'm getting there. I'm hanging hey, you... from the branches. <laughs> that running trains with Groot. Oh, oh. Groot just got his arm out. I'm just hanging this up. Some head by some hoes. Me and Groot in these streets, nigga. Hey, you know Groot. Hey, you know Groot cold with and got his confidence. He'll grow a little flower out his finger and then put yeah. it in the hell for you and shit. Hey, you yeah. know what? Even outside of that, you know, group can make that little dome thing with the little butterflies in it. Yep. Dog, you know yep. how romantic that can be? You in the yep. middle of the club right. and you like, hey, come here real quick. Bro, imagine you on the road, bro. You out. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to take her back to your room, right? Shit crazy. You just pull over and be like, group, cover the car. And then you got down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of yeah, creepy. Yeah, but then inside of that enclosure, inside of that enclosure, then- we gonna have group. Hey, group. Why are you growing another branch? What? What? what what's that? Group? Come on, man. Hey, hey. But that's you my feel man. a branch hitting you. You, you think you in this protected dome? You feel something hitting you in the back? Group. Come on. Yeah, man. A, I am group. I am. <laughs> nah, hey, hey, sweetheart. My boy want to know if you can tug his leaves. <laughs> hey. What's that tree sap on my back, man? What is this, Groot? <laughs> hey, why you growing this brand? What the hell is that, Groot? Nah, I would make sure my boy Groot get right. Hey, excuse me. He wants you to get, them, get his branches right, slim them up. You know what I mean? Hey, girl, you got hey, you got any fertilizer at your house? What? <laughs> she just go in there and spray his private part, Groot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Take care of my man, Groot, man. Take care of my man. <laughs> Brody, man, what about you? Which garden are you part in? <laughs> I'm gonna say it's probably gonna be either uh, Rocket or, or it's gonna be Rocket or Nebula. I need someone that's gonna understand my, my humor through the night. Drax, I, I I would love to hang out, you know, but I just feel like I'm gonna be saying so many jokes. He's gonna be like, I don't understand that, one. and then laugh the wrong. He's like, ha 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 ha. I'd be like, yo, this nigga Drew, Dra- Drax is kind of annoying, but I feel like Rocket, you know. He like he would just I think I feel like we'd have some good banter and I feel like Nebula I mean you walk in the club with Nebula you know she she's I feel like she'd be a good wing woman you know what I mean you go in there she's like yeah I seen some some shorties over here some girls over there that one's probably a bitch this one's cool this one's da 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 go this way you know yeah that's I a made up it. word <laughs> I respect it I'm going I'm going I'm going, going group first and a strong second Mantis but go ahead Will. Man, why you gonna take my before I say? I, I, was, say, I, I was about to say I, Mantis, man. Mantis, I, I, yo, I, I, yeah. we about to do everything, and you know Mantis about that. Like she Mantis did, gonna yeah. try everything and make sure we have a good time. Like yo, we stroll up to the club, they acting like we can't get in. We're getting in, and then we just walk in like free drinks, yeah. all the stuff, bro. She gonna be about that shit. She about to dance, have a good time. All the chicks right. gonna like it because she got the little antenna that lights it up and stuff like that. She finna spread her laughter and stuff. No, this shit is gonna be lit. Oh, anyway, hey, yo, think, think about when you get drunk and you about to tap out. Mantis be like, power up. You just come back to life in that bitch. Uh, the <laughs> Duke, Duke, now you got alcohol poison because you overdoing it because you only know that you're already drunk, but you're like, you're not drunk. Okay, cool. Now you're like, more shot <laughs> and, and then when it's all said and done, she gonna hit me with the sleep. <laughs> hey, you ain't gotta throw okay. up. You ain't gotta throw up. She just go ahead. Hey, Debla, hey, hey, sleep, sleep, and I'm out. <laughs> okay. Hey, but you um, wait, wait, Brody. You know what else is gonna be good? with uh, we're having Nebula because she gets straight to the point. Y'all ever had that that home girl? Like when you like. Like she your she your legit homegirl. So when she know you trying to, you know what I'm saying, get with some chicks or something, she, she like wing man but getting straight to the point. She That's what I said. That you think wing woman. She's like, a good yeah. she's a perfect wing woman. That like, the, the girl's gonna be Jake. She's gonna be like, yo, are y'all fucking or what? Like, because yeah. like Nebula yeah. gonna get yeah. to the point. I go, I go a lot. Nebula look like she'd be in the room and I'd be like, Nebula. Hit her with that vibrator eight thousand and her hand just and she just got an attitude. <laughs> Where did that she go in? <laughs> just appreciate Nebula. Oh, appreciate it. <laughs> all right, so since all of y'all are dads, uh, man, Nebula ain't about to fuck my bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't that Nebula get in on it. I ain't gonna let Nebula fuck my bitch, man. She don't hit that hit that bitch with a tool. 
And I'm a human. She gonna be a she gonna be a, a human sized rose, fam. She gonna. That's <laughs> it. That's all she gonna be for. Gonna be I got a rose. I got a bullet. I got the. I got whatever you need. <laughs> right. Her head be twisted for you so she can get in them other positions while you doing shit. Like yo, mm-hmm. never look perfect. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I'm gonna ask y'all, which guardian would you let babysit? Is Dion froze? Probably. Okay, that was throwing me off. <laughs> and it took us this long. It took us this long to recognize that shit. Yo, that's pretty. That's pretty trash on us. Hey, I'm man. not gonna lie. You back on group? Group I'm for babysitting, group, man. I think group, group ain't gonna let nothing happen to my son, my nigga. Nothing. That's true. That's true. That nothing. True. You know what I'm saying? He not. And I can see him definitely trying to figure things out on if like your son start crying and stuff like that. It's like group gonna try to figure it out. He gonna call me. That. I am Groot. I'm like, yeah, the milk in the fridge. You know what? No, I'm gonna shoot, shoot Buddy some bell. What was all uh, um Yandu's um right hand man? Oh yeah, oh, uh, Craglin, Craglin, Craglin. Yeah. He because Craglin, he like he gonna ride or die, but he also he's more um reserved, right? He ain't gonna scare mm-hmm. my baby. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He gonna be he gonna try his best to you know what I'm saying be like a, a legit babysitter. So I yeah I'm a <laughs> I, I think I'm gonna go with Craglin. Yeah, he's solid. Okay. Uh, Brody, what about you? Man, I mean, I think my personal would be, I mean, the movie illustrated Drax to be that the, the best babysitter, you know, mm. good with the kids, apparently. Oh, That's what they, they kind of hinted at, you know. Um, but I think that uh, I'd probably pick uh, Rocket or Gamora. Uh, not not this new Gamora, not this new, not the rabbit. Oh, Gamora, oh, but oh, the oh, oh Gamora. <laughs> the other Gamora. But, yeah. Yeah, this, uh, this new one, I'd be like, "Yo, why is like, where are you, Gamora? Nigga, I'm at, I'm in nowhere right now. Where's my I son? I definitely could see Rocket. I could see Rocket, but Rocket also an asshole, so he might like act like he lost my son just to be funny and shit. Yeah, I, I just, can, I can see that, but also too, there's that protective side, so that's yeah. why I would pick Rocket too. Like, yeah. Rocket will take care of them no matter what, and then he'll have mm-hmm. them set up just like in the second one when he put all them traps for somebody coming. Yeah. Like, I know he gonna do that for my kid. Yeah. And, like, and, and plus, he going to teach him something. Like, it may be the wrong thing. It's just like, you know, my baby know how to build bombs now. But it's like, yo, my baby know how to build bombs. Like, appreciate it. And he yeah, probably, he, 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 and he the kids around love around it. Like a freaking... Say it again, Brody. Uh, Rocket's kind of like a little stuffed animal for the kid, too. So that's the cool thing. It's like, oh, yeah, it's a little yeah. friendly. It, it, that, hey, man. Like hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, don't call him that, man. <laughs> He nah, just he came did. to terms with being a raccoon. He, he, we can't, we, you know we can't he expose him to the uh, to the stuff animal side. Yeah. He he just got being cool with being a raccoon. You want to know why you like yeah. this? Because you're just like me. Oh, ooh. That's like, ooh. That volume two when uh, yeah. he was giving yeah. it. Ooh. I wish he'd have said, well, ain't that a bitch? And then <laughs> sat down. That was a perfect time for Rocket to say that. And I was like, yo. My, parents, my parents sold their little boy out to slavery. You want to know how you are because you just like me. Everybody who get close to you, you push them away, you rat. I'm like, oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, that man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just honorable mention too to Yondu, man. Yondu just. Man, Yondu a real nigga, man. Yo, man. that was, yo, I still be laughing to the point where he was just like, yo, you look like Mary Poppins. Is he cool? Yeah, he's cool. <laughs> I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. You know what's <laughs> hilarious like... about that? It's because, like, so I was fresh off of like watching him on Walking Dead. Right, he was so you hated him so much in that show. So when he popped up and he's like, "Oh, he's and he's still in, he's still in Peter." You're like, "Oh, he about to be an asshole." Then you like, "Damn, hey, yo, he a real nigga, dog." Like, yo, that's yeah, my nigga. Yeah. <laughs> yo, when he when he brought Quill in the space and he was like, he may have been your father, but he wasn't. But your I am daddy. Like, yeah, yeah. Just like yo, bro, and then just like yo, when he was going and he just, I'm like, yeah. oh, come on, bro. No, yo, y'all ain't got to do this to us, man. Did y'all think Peter salute. was going to go out like that? No. That I, was weird. I, I, was, that was, weird. I was like, yo, where's his, space, where's, his, where's, his, where's his space basket? Come on, man. Yo, so, so, we, so, so we found that out. So I actually found out about that. The, he left it in his room. Because remember, by the time they got started, they were already into the ship with Adam. So they never went oh. back to go grab their stuff. They went immediately to the ship. So he never grabbed his jetpacks or his face thing. Okay. 
Oh, okay. Because yeah, when it when it was happening, because remember, I I was still of I was still under the mindset that Rocket was going to die and somebody else was going to die, and so I'm like, I'm waiting to try to see who else is going to die, and so when that moment happened, I'm like. Yo, they about to do that, and then I, I'm I'm thinking the Yandu, so I'm like, they about to do a full circle. I'm like, yo, they about to really rip our hearts out, and so like I was, I just I thought that was that moment. It, it got me yeah. for a moment. Yeah, it did for a moment too, man. Yeah, yeah so, but man, uh, uh, we gonna go ahead and wrap this thing up. I just want to get any more closing remarks in regards to Guardians of the Galaxy three before we close this thing out, and then I'm gonna allow y'all, of course, as always, to let people know where to follow y'all and support y'all. We're gonna start off with uh Darren, then we're gonna move to Deuce Brody, and I'm gonna close this thing out. Darren, you are up. You're muted, bro. You muted, muted, bro. Can y'all hear me? Yep. There you go. Let me take this Bluetooth off my phone. There we go. Um, what was, what was it again? What's the last thing you said? Oh, uh, just your, just fi final thoughts on uh, Guardians of the Galaxy three, and then let uh, people know where to follow you. Hey man, I go to the movies high, so you know it takes a lot for a movie to keep me up and not not doze off. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like doze mm -hmm. off a little bit. I ain't say sleep with movie, but you're like, oh Lord, let me sit up because I done ate some nachos, popcorn, or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Guardians kept me up the whole time. Funny, hilarious. Uh, after watching some of the TikTok shit, I can see where people come from with their little point of views and missing holes and shit. But I mean, emotionally, bro, like we're connected to these characters, bro. We've been this way for the past five, six years. And uh, I think it was a phenomenal movie. Uh, I'm glad no one died. I'm glad Rocket finally got us. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's like if you go for the underdog, we all been going for Rocket this whole time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? We don't know why we like Rocket, but we love that little nigga, man. We don't know why, but we do. And yeah. so it was just it was just good to see that. And uh yeah, man, I'm doing baby brand half the last few hits. You know what I mean? Um look out for shows coming up. Uh we already planning our last few hits trip next year to Tulum, Mexico. So be on the lookout for that. And uh yeah, man, shit. You know, Tubi movie on the way, Christmas story. So let's do it. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Um so kind of like what uh what uh Big Baby said man like yo man right now with the Guardians like when you, we know that this was wrapping up for like the director you know what I'm saying James Gunn for a lot of the actors they like you know what I'm saying they get, they jumping out of the Marvel game and so when we think about like shows I mean these shows and superhero stuff wrapping up we always are looking for somebody who's going to die who's going like, how they going to exit how they going to die how they going to kill them off and Guardians of the Galaxy show that you don't have to kill somebody off to still have a dope completion. Like this, when you, this trilogy in totality is one of the best trilogies um, that we've gotten to see on, on, on screen, man. And um, I didn't, I enjoyed the ride. And just like, well, you know what I'm saying? Darren said from the beginning, you know, I didn't know much about them and I was fully invested into their journey <laughs> and their come ups. And this is a solid trilogy. This was a solid movie, best trilogy. And yeah, man, follow me, young underscore deuces everywhere, man. You know, you hear me on Watch Mojo. I'm over there. Bring, you know, saying come over there. I'm doing stuff on Sway's Universe. And yeah, if you're gonna be at DreamCon in July, man, we're gonna be out there, man. We're gonna be out there. We got a little thing that we're gonna be doing. So man, make sure y'all check us out for the um on the bill, man. And and fuck with me. Yes, sir. Uh, Brody, you're up. Yeah, man, Guardians was uh, a pleasant surprise. I mean, I I, I kind of think like you know going into it, I had no idea what it was. I'm, I'm sure I didn't see it opening opening weekend, opening day, because I just could care less. Um, but then by the time they, they uh, were were shown in the Avengers films, I was like, yo, I think I'm starting to enjoy them. Like you feel like you know them, and what I, th what I love the appreciate the attention to the detail of these are different characters. Like it's not just they're just they just have different. Um, um uh, accents or, or or like you know uh sounding voices like they literally have different dialects of way they the way they speak and, that, and that's kind of like a nod to star wars because star wars all the different creatures like yoda speaks in his own rhyme you know the way he speaks chewbacca mm -hmm. speaks in, in you know wookie and it's like e everyone has their own language and i think i, I love that everyone had the way that they spoke um as far as this this last one, I had to go see it open opening day. You know, it was like, yo, like I I, had, I actually had that enthusiasm to see it, and they nailed it with the with the heart. I mean, I I can't believe like 
that these other Marvel films or these other films aren't taking a note from that to finally make you feel like really genuinely feel something yeah. in a movie. Like, of course, we're going to enjoy the spectacle, but that heart, that heart we got, maybe we got in this film, we got in, um, in uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Um, uh, we got it in when, when, uh, when Spider, when uh, in, in Infinity War, when, uh, t when, uh, when he said, <coughs> I don't feel so good. Dark, you know, he started this, during the blip, you know, yeah. and we got it for sure, for sure, at the beginning of Wakanda forever. Yeah. But like, you know, I would say those, these are, if we're talking about the heartfelt moments, it's easily in that top, top five heartfelt moments in, in the Marvel franchise as a whole. Yeah. Can I add on to a heartfelt moment? Oh, yeah. When Nebula, when yeah. Nebula realized she heard Rocket on her headset. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, it gave me cap on your left. They gave me them yeah. vibes, you know. Yeah. What I'm saying? When you, when you yeah. heard that moment, because she was like, she was like, she was like, rocket. Yeah. You know yeah. Because people forgot they was the only two left yep. when the yeah. blip hit, so they yeah. was in space together with just them two, mm -hmm. fucking flying around for five fucking years. Yeah. Yep. So, and then, and then, just to add to the thing for Nebula, when she uh said, "I'm gonna stay here and create the home that I never had." Yeah. I was mm -hmm. like, yo, her, her, her arc, man. Her, her character arc. Her, I growth, love it, man. Ah, because she was Definitely. so she was so cold at first. Yeah, we did, bro. We didn't <laughs> fuck with Nebula in the beginning, bro. We, we, thought, did not. She, we thought she was an enemy. Yeah, but yeah. then when, when, when we got introduced to Thanos and we see how he treated her, then we was like, damn, yeah. it's the reason why she fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Then we started fucking with it. Then this show, this movie, we love her now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. So uh, I I feel to say, oh no, 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 Brody, just let people know where to follow you. Oh, yeah. Follow me at Brody the Joker, B-R-O-A-D-Y, the Joker, on all social media platforms. Of course, uh, if you're in the Arlington, um, Virginia area, I'm doing a live taping on June 18th. That's Father's Day. There's no school, no work Monday. It's Juneteenth weekend. It's Father's Day weekend. It's going to be an amazing weekend. I hope to see y'all there. Let's Get your go. tickets, ArlingtonDrafthouse.com. Yes, go. sir. Yes, sir, man. Yeah, and then just my final thoughts on Guardians of the Galaxy, man. Um... In a world full of misfits, man, this is one of the perfect trilogies to showcase a group full of misfits and then what can happen when they just step up to the plate and do something extraordinary. And so I just I love the ride that James Gunn gave us. It was such a beautiful ride from beginning all the way to end. And it is the perfect example to show that uh, to Brody's point of it being f uh, heartfelt, uh, AI can't do that. So just keep that in mind. And if you ever need to watch this film so you know why writers are important. So I've been Will Farrow. You know, you can follow me everywhere on Will Farrow. I appreciate y'all checking out this episode of Stray Out of a Comic Book. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and tell us in the comments below what was your good moments, your bad moments, and some of the ugly moments you think were in Guardians of the Galaxy. And which Guardian of the Galaxy would you go party with. Let us know in the comments below and we'll definitely reply back. And we will catch you next time. <laughs> you, I go get that. Uh -huh, girl.